Do not undertake the exercises illustrated in this video without prior medical advice. Hi there, my name is Jen and I'm the coordinator of the VON Smart Exercise Program in the Barrie and area. Thank you for joining me for another class. Um, before we get started, I wanted to go over a couple of things. Um, make sure that you have a chair, a nice sturdy chair to hold on to if needed. Um, also, you could use a kitchen, your kitchen counter because um, that's stable. Just make sure there's no area rugs or anything that's going to slip. Uh, make sure the area that you're exercising in is safe for you. Um, make sure you're wearing running shoes or proper footwear. Make sure your laces are tied. Um, grab yourself some water. Um, if you have some music, maybe you can play the music during the exercise um, class. And also, if you do have a band, I know many of you do, um, please grab that as well because we're going to use the band during this class. Okay, before we get started, um, I just wanted to have you go over some band safety. So just make sure before we start that you have a look at your band and make sure that there are no little nicks or anything in it. Sometimes your rings can get caught on it um, or it can get caught on something. And then when you go to pull it for the exercises, it could tear. Um, we don't want that to happen. So make sure every time before you're gonna use it that you give it a little inspection and make sure that it is okay for you to be using. We're just going to put that down. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with a little bit of March. Congratulations for those who have decided to stay active during this unique time. Uh, we've had a very great response from our exercise videos. Um, we, all the way up till Easter, we had about um, 3,000 views of the exercise videos that we've posted and lots of great feedback. So thank you so much for that. Um, if you're wondering, I know some have asked why we're not using music. There is a lot of copyright um, rules with using music on uh, YouTube in a session like this. So that's why it's better for you just to play your own music. And also we've had some feedback from people that in order to hear what the instructor's saying, it's nice not to have the music on top of that um, when we're doing it in this kind of setting. So thank you for your patience with that. We all love music, like using that so much better than uh, having it quiet, but uh, for the purposes of these videos, it's on you to play some of your favorite tunes. All right, let's take a couple of deep breaths and blow it out. And again. And one more time. And blow it out. Okay, let's slowly look over our shoulder, switching it over to the other side. Back over again and back over. And looking straight ahead, let's do some shoulder shrugs. In the class, we often call these the, I don't know, I don't know how long you're gonna be doing these videos with me and with our other awesome instructors. And let's do one more time. And roll those shoulders to the front. This is a good one to do throughout the day, backwards and forwards. Let's do one more to the front and switch it to the back. Excellent. Especially if you're sitting quite a bit, this kind of stretches things out for you. All right, let's get those arms up and out to the sides. We're just working through all of our joints, just warming them up. Excellent. Let's do two more here. And one more. Okay, let's do some wrist circles. Remember to check out our videos from our other instructors as well. We're gonna try and post them fairly regularly. Let's switch and go the opposite way. So there's lots of great videos on there. Hopefully something, that, something for everybody. Okay, let's do some fists in and out. All right, and one more. We're gonna do our lower body. This time I'm not gonna sit like uh, in the other video. So let's hold on to our chair if we can. And we're just gonna do a bicycle with one leg. I'll turn to the side so you can have a better look. Hold on to something if you need to. Excellent, one more time around and let's switch it over to the other side. Obviously it's better to have your chair in front of you but for the purpose of the video, I'm just holding on to it from behind. And last one. All right, let's bring one foot up and just do some ankle circles. And switch and go the opposite way. And putting that foot down, let's switch it to the other one. Excellent. And switch it around. Let's go up 
on our tippy toes a few times. Just working our way through all of our joints. Excellent. Let's switch it out and do our toes up. We can just alternate between those toes. Great job. All right, let's get to some marching here. Some of the feedback that I've had from some of you that, that know me and that I've spoken to, you said, in your last video, Jen, you did so much counting and not very much storytelling, which typically, if you've come to one of my classes, you know I like to tell stories and I like to um, tell jokes and tell some of the things that are happening in my life. And with uh, my kids, you all get a chuckle out of out of some of those stories. So I'm gonna try and tell you some today because we've been around our kids a whole lot lately. Can't wait to get back to teaching classes with all of you face to face. Let's bring those knees up a little bit higher than usual. Excellent. Just having spoke to a lot of our instructors and our volunteers, instructors as well as our, our paid ones, we all miss our uh, participants so much. All right, let's stop those legs. We're going to do our walking arms. We call these walking arms, but if you imagine somebody walking down the street like this, I'm sure you'd get some interesting looks. But we're just trying to get that range of motion in our shoulders and running arms. All right, let's just do those walking arms again. Great work. And our running arms. Now we're gonna get ready to put those feet back in. We're gonna imagine our best music with our best feet. Let's bring those legs back in. Remember always throughout all of this, you always work to your own level. If you've come to our classes before, you know we say that all the time. Everybody does this a little bit differently. Some are sitting for part of it or standing for some of it. <clears throat> you just have to listen to your own body, do what you feel safe and comfortable to do. All right, let's get ready to tap that heel out in front. Excellent. Okay, and tapping the heel to the side next. <clears throat> so yeah, our kids have been busy uh, doing lots of things around the house. Um, we've been out playing a lot of basketball, uh, doing some biking, walking, I have three boys, so as you can imagine, everybody's always quite active. And it's often loud in our house too. Let's do a march here. So today I've come to our office. There's nobody else here, so I'm practicing my social distancing. Um, but that's why I came to the office, because with three boys and being loud, I figured you would have a lot of background sound for this. All right, let's tap that toe out in front. So we've had some interesting things. Our boys are, you know, the things that they say sometimes. My littlest is about seven, or he is seven, not about. <clears throat> and the other day he came up to me, I was doing something in the kitchen and I could tell by the way he was looking at me. Let's tap that toe to the side. I could tell by the way that he was looking at me that he had something interesting to say he just had a bit of a stinker look on him and he came over to me and he looked at me and he kind of put his hands like this along my front and he said mom all right let's switch to the back tapping that toe behind us he said mom I think you might be getting a little bit bigger I think maybe you have a baby a baby brother inside there for me and you can imagine I was not impressed I said, nope, there's no baby brother in here. And he said, are you sure? I said, yes, I'm sure. Anyways, I thought I had a good little chuckle, but if he was a little bit older and saying that, I'm sure we would find that quite rude, but 
seven, they're still fairly innocent. <laughs> Let's march it out in place. So my husband and my oldest were just dying laughing when he said this to me. And then as I left the kitchen, um, my husband was still in there, and I heard my seven-year-old say to my uh, husband, so, Dad, maybe I can talk to you. How does the baby really get outside of the mom? <laughs> so, needless to say, we've been having lots of interesting conversations. Never a dull moment. Let's march it out a little bit wider than usual. I won't tell you the conversations that happen after that, but yeah, he's got lots of questions and lots of little silly things to say. And let's go back in narrow. And let's march it out wide again. And back in narrow. Excellent work. Let's go one more time out wide and back in narrow. And so back out wide. And let's take it in narrow. All right, we're going to repeat that combo, tapping the heel to the front. If you want to add your arms in, let's do it. And maybe let's try one arm at a time. You can do both at the same time, but you need to hold on to the chair. This frees up one arm for you. The other thing my little guy's been saying is we've been playing games, and I have to say he's not so humble. But it's that balance with a seven-year-old that you don't want to beat them too bad and then they beat them at the game too bad and then they, um, then they cry. Or if they decide that they, you decide you're going to maybe play a little easy on them and then they win and then you don't hear the end of it. So it's that balance. Let's march it out in place. So we played a game the other day and he says to my husband and I, it's okay guys, I'm going to take it easy on you, don't worry. So I have a little chuckle, or I think we've been letting him win maybe a few too many times. Let's tap that heel out to the side. If you want to add the arms in, we can do that. Again, if you need to do just your arms or just your legs, work to your own level. He also said after one of the, uh, while we were playing one of the games, he goes, you know, if I win this, you might have to call me master at the end of the game. I thought, okay, I guess we have to work on being a little bit more humble in our house with him. <laughs> Good for a laugh, though. Excellent. Let's march it out in place. Hopefully you're feeling that heart rate working and a good job here with your cardio make sure that you're still able to carry on a conversation you don't want to be completely out of breath but you do want to be working let's tap that toe to the front and if you want to add your arms in let's do single arms again but this time punching it out straight ahead of us as to as opposed to towards our feet So if you find that you are not able to talk right now, say you're really winded, maybe just slow the pace down a bit. If you feel like you could step it up a little bit, feel free to do that. Excellent. And let's march it out in place. So physical activity guidelines for Canada suggest that over the age of 65, you should be doing 150 minutes of a moderate to vigorous exercise every week. Um, now, for it does count towards that 150 if you're doing bouts of 10 minutes or more. So our cardio is always over 10 minutes, so that we've met that for you. Sometimes it's closer to 20 minutes, so we've 
Alright, you can check 20 minutes off your, your goal for the 150 minutes in the week. Let's tap that toe to the side. And if you want to add your arms in, let's do both at the same time. Excellent. Well, I have to say I do miss having all of you around in my exercise class. It is way less exciting teaching a class by yourself in a room by yourself with no music and not all the friendly faces and smiles that you all bring to the classes every time. So I look forward to when we can meet again together. Let's march it out in place. Okay, let's get ready to tap that toe behind us. So toe to the back. And if you want to add your arms in, you can do a push to the front or to the ceiling as high as your arm feels comfortable to go. Great work. And let's march it out in place again. And it's kind of interesting with the different instructors doing videos. Some people are able to do the video horizontally, but for those of us who are also a little bit taller, we have to do the video in this way, up and down. And I know if I get too close to the camera, I will lose my head. You won't be able to see it. So. It's been a bit of a learning curve for all of us trying to figure out how to be movie stars for you guys. <laughs> all right, we're going to slow the pace down a little bit. If you can and you know what's behind you and you feel comfortable, you can take a few steps back and a few steps forward. We're just slowing down the pace here a little bit, trying to bring our heart rate down a little. After this, we're going to go into some cool down, gentle moves before we begin our strength exercises. If you feel at any point in time you need a drink of water or anything, and I've not stopped at the right time for you, feel free to put me on pause and go grab yourself some water. Try and keep moving for the whole cardio portion of the routine though. Just slowing that right down. All right, let's take our feet about hip width apart and we're just gonna keep a little bit of movement here as we go into some of our um, cool, our cool down. So let's bring our ear down to our shoulder, slowly over to the other side, back over again. And back over. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to reach up and twisting at the wrist, almost like you're changing a light bulb. Excellent. Let's bring your arm down and do a bit of a queen wave. And into, let's say, our windshield wipers. And let's put that arm down. Back over to the other one, reaching up as far as you feel comfortable. I'm not going too high or you're not gonna see my hand on this video. Let's go into the queen wave. And a big wave here for our windshield wipers. All right, now is an excellent time for you to grab a drink of water. Grab, make sure your chair is ready for you to do the exercises. I'm gonna grab my water for a quick second here. I'm sitting down in my chair. All right. Sitting up nice and tall in our chair, we're just gonna bring one leg out and we're gonna stick with that same leg. Just bringing it out a few times here. Excellent, let's do two more. And switch it over to that other leg. 
try and make sure you're sitting up as nice and tall in your chair as you can. And let's do one more. All right, keeping your feet flat, uh, keeping your ankles below or your ankles below your knees. Let's bring those heels up. It is kind of funny uh, right now when I leave the house if I've put any makeup on or combed my hair or dressed in something a little different. Everyone knows you're going somewhere because when you're at home and working, sometimes you're in your PJs. Let's bring those toes up. I don't know about you guys, but uh, comfy clothes is the way to go right now. So getting those toes up. All right, let's do those toes up. We're gonna do them one at a time. And we're gonna do them as quick as we can and see if we can hold that up for about 20 seconds. Keep going, gets harder as you go. You got about 10 seconds left. Excellent, almost there. Three, two, one, and stop. Good job, let's bring those heels together and we're gonna do our Charleston. We're gonna do them both together. Both feet together, heels and toes out. Excellent. And back in. Let's do it one more time. All right. Let's bring one foot up and we're just going to point and flex those toes. So pointing them away from you, then bringing them back towards your body. And let's switch it over to the other side. So some of the things our instructors have been doing while they're off, they've been uh, making phone calls to a lot of you to let them know about this, you, let you know about this YouTube channel. Checking on people, making sure they have what they need. Let's bring that foot down. And we're gonna get ready to go into our strength component now. We're gonna start with everybody's favorite exercise, the chair stands. I hope you've been practicing these a lot. <coughs> that is just a tickle in my throat. All right, so getting ready, we're gonna have our ankles right below our knees, sitting up nice and tall, and we're gonna stand up, and see this is where my head's gonna go off the screen, and we're gonna sit down nice and slowly, four, three, two, and one. So if you feel like you need to hold on to chair, chair handles, um, if you have them, feel free to do so. Everybody needs to work to their own level, if you have to push off of the chair a little bit to stand up, you can do that as well. The point is, is that you're working at the level that you feel comfortable, but you're also challenging yourself. The other tricky thing I find is when I don't have a class here with me in person, I don't have a counter. There's always somebody in the class that's willing to count for me. So because I'm doing so much talking, to you guys today. Sometimes my counting isn't the best. I think that this is going on to number eight. Excellent. Let's aim for 12. Okay, let's do two more here. Down nice and slow. Back up. Down nice and slow. Excellent. All right, let's get those bands out. So one of the things when you're using bands is you never want to wrap it around your hand. It can cut off circulation in that. So we're just going to gently hold that band. <clears throat> let's bring those toes up off the ground. The band is beneath your feet. Make sure it's on there good and tight because you don't want it coming back towards you. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Your hands are coming. From, your thumbs are going to go from your knees and back to your hips. So your elbows are going to the back of the chair. You're going slowly back and slowly forward. Nice and slow and controlled. This is a row. It's working your upper back. Make sure you have your best posture. You're sitting up nice and tall. There should not be any movement in your upper body. All the movement here is just coming in your arms. Excellent. Let's do two more of them. And last one. All right, keep that band in that place. Shuffle your feet a little bit back towards you. 
So you're bent at the knees. You might have to grab the band a little bit tighter. Your elbows are staying right close to your sides. Again, you're not wrapping the band around your hands and you're gonna bring that up towards your shoulders and slowly down. This is our bicep curl. We're doing both arms at the same time, slowly down. Back up. Again, no movement in your upper body. Really the only movement coming in your arms is bending at the elbow and bringing your hands up towards your shoulders. They don't quite have to hit your shoulders. This just gives a little more resistance than when we're doing it with our own body weight, but you can, if you don't have a band, you still can do this exercise without any band and just doing the movement. This just gives a little bit more uh, resistance for you, for your strength. All right, let's do one more here. Okay, be careful how you release that band from underneath your feet. You can put it on the back of your chair again. And we're gonna repeat those chair stands. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall and down for four, three, two, and one. Back up. Make sure you're always landing on that chair. If you find that your chair, you're worried about it moving, you can always set it up against a wall so that it can't push back at all, that it'll be supported by the wall as well. Might have to be a little bit creative, everybody in your home has a different setup and we all have different abilities. Excellent. This is number six. We're almost there. And I guess you're wondering how many we're doing. Maybe I should surprise you. I think that we'll do the 12 again. If this is number nine. But again, I'm talking, so the numbers are a little dicey at times. Number 11, and down, last one. Excellent, let's slowly go down. All right, let's grab that band again. Again, putting it underneath your feet. You shouldn't have to lean too far forward. If you are gonna lean forward to get the band there, try and make sure that you're hinging off the hip and not curling your back, especially if you have any spine issues. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna do it a little differently. This way we're gonna do it single arms. So let's bring one arm back and switch it to the other. Try not to turn your upper body, try and keep it nice and straight. Excellent. If you have any feedback or any questions about any of our videos, make sure you, you know how to reach us if you're one of our participants. If you're not, you can always look up VON Simcoe County Smart Program and give us a call and we'll see how we can help you. Let's do two more on each arm. Great work. Last one on each arm. Excellent. Let's bring that band a little bit closer, our legs a little bit closer. Get ready for our bicep curls. We're going to do this a little different too. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do it really slowly. So let's count up for four, three, two, one, and down for four, three, two, and one. Four, three, two, one, and down for four, three, two, one. One, excellent. Keep up that same pace, nice and slow. Sometimes it's tempting to let the band just bring our arm down quickly, but when you do it nice and slow and controlled, you're using your muscles really well for that. And if you let momentum take over by letting your arm just fling down, then you do run the risk of having an injury and we don't want that to happen. Down nice and slow. One last time. And down nice and slow. Okay, release that band from underneath your feet. You can put it on the back of your chair. We're gonna stand up for the next few exercises. Again, if you need water, feel free to grab it. Okay, actually I'll put this to the side just so you again can see me. 
All right, so standing up nice and tall, we're going to do our leg out to the side and back in, and then we're going to take it to the back and back in. Switching over to the other side, out to the side, back in, out to the back, back in, out to the side, nice and slowly the whole time, out to the back, nice and slow and controlled. Out to the side, out to the back, side, and back. You're doing great. This is a little bit harder than we've done it in some of in the other video that I did because we're just on that leg a little bit longer on holding it on the one side and doing two different movements. Great job. Out to the back, out to the side. You're doing great. I always tell you when you're at the classes, if you're smiling while you're doing this, then it's going to tell the rest of your body that you're having a lot of fun. So even if you're finding it hard, smiling does help with that. And out to the back. Last one here. Out to the side and out to the back. Good job. Let's just shake that all out. Do maybe a gentle march just to loosen things up a little bit. And let's grab our band. We're going to do our tricep exercise with um, the band. So let's start by just grabbing that band, holding it out in front of us. Let's take our right hand, bring it over to the left shoulder, and the left hand is coming to the left hip. The elbow stays nice and snug in, and you're just bringing that band out to the back and back. Notice I'm not releasing the band all the way like this. When you do that, you lose that resistance. So let's try and keep it a little bit tight for the whole time. And again, if you notice, I'm really just bending at the elbow for this. Try and keep that shoulder down and relaxed. Great, let's do two more on this side. And last one. Okay, let's switch it over to the other side. So if you know how to switch it quick, you can do that otherwise. Left hand to right shoulder, right hand to right hip, and just bringing that back. And again, that elbow stays really just put, you're just bending at the elbow. This is for our triceps, for the back of our upper arm. A lot of us want those to look nice and tight. Let's do two more here. And last one. Excellent. Let's put that band down. And we're going to repeat the same leg exercises we did, but this time instead of alternating between the legs, we're going to stick on the same side for all of the repetitions. Again, it makes it a little harder. If that's too hard, you can still continue to alternate. So holding on to a chair if you need to. Out to the side, back in, out to the back, back in. Remember, the upper body is nice and tall for the whole thing. We're not doing swaying like this. Nice and slow and controlled. I'm sad this year I missed April Fool's Day with all of you. I know those who I've taught before on that day know I like to throw in some odd exercises sometimes to see if I can get you to follow along. I'll have to make up for it next year. Let's do one more. Out to the side, back in, out to the back, back in. All right, just shake that out a little bit if you need to. Switch it over to the other leg. Out to the side, out to the back. If you can keep those toes pointing forward the whole time, that would be great when you go out to the side. So I'm so excited that so many of you decide to watch these videos and deciding to keep active during this time. It really is good for your mental health, it's good for your body 
to be doing active things. It's easy to sit around and just watch TV or whatnot, which we all can do a little bit of, but it's nice if you're able to do something active. All right, that's it for that. Shake it out a little bit, and we're going to repeat our second time with our tricep exercise. So again, grabbing the band out in front of you, take your right hand, bring it to your left shoulder, bending at the elbow, okay, and just bringing it back. That left hand comes up to about your hip. Keep that shoulder down and relaxed. It's tempting to let the shoulder go up. If you see, sometimes I do it, you see my shoulder going up, so try and keep that shoulder down. Let's do three more. Last one. All right, switch that over to the other side. So left hand to left sh to right shoulder, right hand to right hip, and back. Again, staying nice and tall. We spoke to many of our volunteer instructors over the past little bit too, and they're all missing all of our participants, and many of them are tuning into these exercises as well. We think about how grateful we'll be when we get to see each other all face to face again. Let's do one more. I know when I count, my numbers aren't active, exact, so bear with me. All right, the next one we're going to do is our hamstring curls. So if you want to, I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see me. This is the one when you're bending at the knee. We're going to mix it actually up with our um, heel raises. So let's do hamstring curl on one side, hamstring curl on the other side, up on those tippy toes down nice and slow. Hamstring curl on one side, hamstring curl on the other one. Up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. And curl, curl, up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. Curl, curl, up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. Curl, curl, you're doing great. Up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. And up on those tippy toes. We're going to do two more full, ro full rotations or combinations. Last one. Curl and curl and up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. Excellent. Let's do our toes up. So again, you want to make sure you're standing nice and tall. You're bringing those toes up. I can turn a little to the side. What we want to avoid doing is this. So we want to stay nice and tall, just bringing those toes up. Hold on as little or as much as you need to. Let's do two more of those. Excellent. All right, let's grab that band. We're going to put it around our back. Maybe you thought I forgot our chest press, but I did not. Let's get those hands pointed out straight in front of us. Remember not to wrap the band. And let's just push that straight out and back. If this is hard for you to do in a standing position, feel free to always sit down for this as well. If you need to hold on to the chair or the counter, it might be better for you to sit. Excellent. Nice and slow and controlled. Let's aim for three more. And let's do one last one. All right, let's put that band down onto the chair. We're going to go back to those hamstring curls. We're going to repeat it just the same way as we did, okay? So hamstring curl one side, hamstring curl the other side. Up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. Curl and curl and up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. Curl and curl, up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. 
Hopefully you're feeling a good benefit from these exercises today. And up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. Up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. And up again, let's do one more combo. Hamstring curl, hamstring curl. Up on those tippy toes, down nice and slow. Okay, back to those toes up. This time let's just do one foot at a time. Again, trying to keep that back um, nice and straight and your bottom tucked in. You should feel this in the front of your lower leg. I try and smile in these videos, but it's hard when I don't see all of you here. So imagine your faces from all of the classes. All right, let's grab that band back, putting it behind our back again for our last chest press. Again, we'll do it a little bit differently this time. Let's do single arms. So I'm going to do this arm back and then the other one. So again, slow and controlled. You guys will all be pros at these exercises. No wait lists here on YouTube. <laughs> You're doing great. Let's do three more on each side. And two more. All right, last one. I think I did an extra one there, but... I'm sure you'll forgive me. All right, let's put that band down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into a few of our balance exercises. Okay, so the first one we're going to do, I'm coming a little bit closer so you can kind of see my feet. My head will get chopped off. Ah, uh, maybe you can't actually. Let's stay back here. All right, so this one we're just transferring our body weight from our toes to our heels. Hold on as little or as much as you need to. As you can see, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. I'm not having a whole lot of movement. In fact, my feet aren't really even coming up off the ground. If you have any problems with uh, feeling at the bottom of your feet, maybe neuropathy, you may have a hard time feeling that movement, but it does work all the little muscles in your feet. And it does a bit of balance as well, obviously, which is why we decided to choose toes to do it today. All right, let's put our feet about hip width apart. And we're just going to do our shift from one foot to the other. Just a few times here. And let's come up off of that, bringing that heel a little bit off of the ground, if you feel comfortable to do it. If you want to add a challenge even yet, take that foot right off the ground. Excellent. Let's do it one more time in each direction. And last one. All right, let's go next into our tandem stance. So again, um, if you can put one foot right in front of the other, that would be kind of the trickiest for this right now of the move I'm going to do. The other way you could do it is you could offset your feet a bit or you could do a puzzle piece where your feet are overlapping just a little bit. So I'm going to put one foot in front of the other. I'm going to stand up nice and tall, making sure my body weight is equally over both feet. Now, if you feel you need to hold on, please feel free to do so. If you don't, you can challenge yourself. And if you find that this is still a little bit easy, you can just try and move some, do some gentle arm movements. It does make it a little bit trickier. And let's count from five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Let's switch those feet around. Bring the other one out in front. Again, nice and tall. And again, let go if you're able to. But if you need to hold on, you do it with two hands, one hand, one finger, covering your hands. And again, let's do some gentle arm movements with this if you feel like you need the added challenge. If you don't, then you stop where you feel like 
you're getting some challenge, but you're still feeling safe as well. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake those legs out a little bit. All right, we're gonna go into our single leg stand. So let's get one foot up off the ground. Again, hold on as little or as much as you need to. Normally my chair would be in front of me. That would be the best place for you rather than to the side. But I'm trying to make it so it's easy for you guys to see what I'm doing. So I've kind of moved it over there. And five, four, three, two, and one. Let's put that foot down, switch it over to the other one. Doesn't really matter if your foot is out here or back or how high it is. The point is your body weight is on one foot. If you do find that too challenging, you can keep your toe on the ground on that back foot. And five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. And let's do the tandem stance again. So one foot in front of the other. Now, if you want a little bit of an added challenge, maybe I'll turn to the side so you can see this, you can bring your toe up on one foot. If you want a little bit more challenge, put that down, you can bring your heel up on the back foot. If you want even more challenge, you can bring your toe up on your front foot and your heel up on the back foot. So now you're just balancing on your heels of your front and the toes of your back. So if you're holding that, let's do for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Let's switch those feet around. So let's put the other foot to the front. Okay, so again, if you want a bit of an added challenge, you can bring the toes up. If you want a little bit more, you can bring the heels up. And if you want even more, bring them both up. Five, four, three, two, and one. That is hard, especially when your chair is behind you. Anyways, excellent work. Let's do our single leg stand for one more time. This time when we're doing it, we often try and keep that, those legs right close together when we're doing this. But let's make it a little bit trickier and try and keep the legs apart from each other. You notice that might be a little bit harder. And if you want a bit of an added challenge, try at the same time engaging your eyes. So try and find something in your room at your house that's red. So you're gonna be looking around, you're thinking for something red while you're holding this. This is a lot of dual tasking. Hopefully you found that something red. It's not a lot in this room red to be honest. All right, let's put that foot down. Let's switch it over to the other one. Same thing, try and keep those legs a little bit apart from each other, your foot off the ground. This time, let's find something green. There is a lot of green in this room, so I made that kind of easy for myself. Woo! Keeping that leg up, find that something green. If you found something, see if you can find something else that's green in that room. Or if you didn't find something red and you're still looking for that, that's fine too. And let's put that foot down. Excellent. We're going to go into our cool down exercises now. So we are going to sit down to start that out. I need a little sip of water. If you do too, feel free to grab some for a quick minute. This would be the wrong time to sp spill water while I'm drinking in front of all of you guys. All right. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's just start with actually three deep breaths. Just think about what a good workout hopefully that you just had. Congratulate yourself for doing something active today. Last one. And blow it out. All right, let's just dangle those arms at our side and dip our ear down to our shoulder. Make sure your chin is pointing straight forward if you can. 
shouldn't hurt so find a spot that feels comfortable for you for this and we are just going to hold this you can imagine if you have music this would be a good time to put on that nice relaxing music that we usually do at the end of the class and let's slowly switch it over to the other side should feel a nice stretch in here through your neck I'm so glad that you decided to join us for another video. Let's bring that arm or that head up, not our arm. Let's um, clasp our hands together out in front of us, rounding out those arms, pushing forward a little bit so that you feel a stretch through your shoulders, through the backs, and a little bit into your upper back as well. Just a little longer and then we're going to put these arms down. There you go. Let's bring our arms up into our chest stretch. So squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back. Make sure you do this in a way that you find is comfortable for you. If you can lift your arms up higher, that's fine. If they have to stay a bit lower, you do what feels, you do you. That's what someone recently said to me and I like that, you do you. If it feels comfortable this way, then, then good for you. Take a couple of deep breaths with this too. And one more. Let's put those arms down. All right, bringing one arm up to touch our same shoulder, the other arm up coming for support. Just pushing that back, getting a bit of a stretch in that arm. Excellent work and let's put that down switch it over to the other side make sure you check back on our uh, YouTube channel regularly DON Simcoe County smart program um, we are trying to put videos up regularly we try and put a little bit of a description on there let's bring that arm down all right let's take one foot out and we are going to extend that foot it's an out nice and straight this is for your hamstring you'll feel it a little bit in your calf too you can hinge forward at the hip just a little bit but supporting that upper body by putting your hands on your thigh yeah so we're trying to put videos on fairly regularly we put it in the description whether they're um, meant for some of our retirement home classes or for our community classes. Um, but feel free to try which ones you, you want to do. And if you come across an exercise that's too difficult, then you may just decide to leave that one. You do you. All right, let's bring that toe down to the ground. So you're trying to bring those toes right forward. You don't have to lean forward for this one. You're gonna feel it in this, the front of the lower leg here, stretching out the shin. I feel it a little in my ankle too. Remember to sit nice and tall for these exercises, these stretches. And let's bring that foot back in. Other one out, toes pointing to the sky. Lean, if you need to lean forward, hands are on your thigh, not right on your knee joint, but on your thigh and hinging from the hip forward. We're almost there. A couple more stretches and you've successfully completed another video. And if this is your first one, thank you for joining us. And feel free to check the, the VO in Simcoe County Smart Program YouTube channel. Yes, it's a mouthful. Let's bring those, foot, those uh, toes forward. I'm gonna move forward so you can see. Sitting up nice and tall now. Doesn't really matter what you're doing with your hands. And just holding that. Excellent. All right, two more stretches to go from a standing position. I'm gonna push this chair a little out of my way so you can get a good look of them. All right, let's take one foot 
pointing our toes on the ground behind us, tilting that hip forward a little bit. This is a good stretch for your hip flexor and you do feel it a little bit in your quad. Um, for those that are able, um, you can do the quad stretch by bringing your foot up and grabbing it like this. But if you do that, your knee has to be pointing to the ground and it's very controlled. So that is difficult for many people. So this is the option that we typically give in our classes. And if you've been holding this for the whole time, I think it's pretty good to say that we can switch to the opposite side. Okay, so pointing that toe on the ground behind us, or again, if you feel you're able, you can grab that foot as long as its knee is pointing to the ground and you're slow and controlled. It's not meant to be a balance exercise. It is meant to be a stretch. So if you feel wobbly doing that, you would prefer to do it maybe like this. Excellent. Okay, we're coming on the home stretch. Well, we already were, but now we're going to do our calf stretch. So this is stretching the calf on that back leg. Again, notice how my knee is not coming past my toes. If it's doing that, that means that your knee joint is taking your body weight and you want your muscle to hold that body weight, especially if you have knee problems, but really for everybody, it's a good option. So notice my toes are flat, pointing straight forward. And excellent. Switching those legs out. Okay, so flat on the floor, both pointing straight forward. Knee does not come past those toes. If you feel like that's too tricky, if your knee keeps coming, maybe your legs are too close together, you might have to step that back leg back a little bit. All right, let's stand up for two big deep breaths and we are finished, okay? Nice big deep breath. Last one. And blow it out. Excellent. Give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. Thank you for joining me. Feel free to give us feedback. We want to hear it. We're doing this for you guys. And I hope everybody's well. Take care until next time.